Many believe it is make or break for Governor Jeb Bush tonight, spending more than any other candidate here in New Hampshire, $30 million. And tonight, ABC's Jonathan Carl on the campaign trail, finding himself suddenly driving behind Jeb Bush's bus. And John had a few questions for the candidate, counting on New Hampshire to survive. We're driving through Manchester and, of course, run into the Jeb Bush bus. We're going to follow along because I bet he's going to a polling station. Yes. And sure enough, he was. Hey, how are you doing? Bush wading through a sea of cameras to make one last pitch for votes. So, Governor, what, what do you say to somebody that's still undecided right now? <laughs> so, what have you been doing, man? <laughs> no, look, I, what I say is that I've got a proven record of accomplishment, the most reform conservative record of anybody running. Once the front runner, he's now fighting for survival. Vote for Jeb. Oh yeah. Even bringing his 90 year old mother into campaign during a snowstorm. That prompted a withering personal attack from the man who's been his nemesis from the start. Poor, poor Jeb Bush who brings out his mother because he needed help. Mommy, please come walk in the snow, mom. I know Jeb. Bush's super PAC has tapped his brother for a TV ad during the Super Bowl, no less. Experience and judgment count in the Oval Office. Jeb Bush bet the ranch on New Hampshire. He and his super PAC spending almost $30 million just on TV ads, more than any other candidate, 10 times as much as Donald Trump. And now he's predicting a comeback. I've been written off, which is great. I've always liked that. I love the fact the pundits may not have gotten this right. It makes, it makes me feel good. And John Carl joins me live tonight. And John, clearly there's a lot at stake for Jeb Bush tonight, but his aides telling you that no matter what happens here in New Hampshire, the campaign moves forward? That's fact. It's right. He says he is moving on. In fact, they have eight events scheduled over the next few days in South Carolina, where they'll also be campaigning with former President George W. Bush, his brother. And they have one big advantage still, David. They have more campaign cash than most of his rivals. All right, John Carl with us tonight.